Episode 9 is set to end the Skywalker saga and the sequel trilogy itself by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing that a lot of people are wondering about right now is, of course, the official title reveal of Episode 9 and exactly how the movie is going to perform at the box office once it drops this December of 2019, which will serve as the final installment of the sequel trilogy and the Skywalker saga. Now these past couple of weeks or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this film and a lot of people are really curious about exactly how J.J. Abrams is going to be able to bring a final close to this whole entire trilogy that's really going to end the Skywalker saga. Now one thing is for sure, now we do know that Disney and Lucasfilm are looking at episode 9 as a course correction technique. We also know that they are hiding the title itself because they want to hold it off as long as possible in order to build up and anticipation for this movie. Now, one of the big reasons as to why they are worried about episode 9 not only has to do with the box office not making up for the loss with Solo A Star Wars Story, but also because episode 9 basically is going to be the film that really does tell us the future of the Star Wars franchise and where things are going to go. The future of this franchise does indeed rest on the success of episode 9 and how well it all performs, not just on the box office end of things, but also with the Star Wars community as a whole. So as of this point right now, Disney and Lucasfilm, they can't afford any more negativity when it comes to the Star Wars fans within the sequel trilogy itself. They're also very much afraid of the backlash that they saw with The Last Jedi and the effect that it had on Solo A Star Wars Story, which led to the cancellation of numerous standalone films, such as the Obi-Wan Kenobi Star Wars movie and even the Boba Fett film, which were both transferred into an Obi-Wan TV series, and now, of course, into The Mandalorian, which is basically the Boba Fett movie into a TV series. So moving on from all of this, we do know that Disney and Lucasfilm are very much on edge with this movie for all of these different reasons. And a lot of fans are really curious on whether or not Disney is going to be able to really perform really well at the box office with this movie. Now, the thing here, the big mistake by Disney, in my opinion, is holding off the title reveal as long as possible in order to raise the expectations and really build up the hype and anticipation of this movie. And that, to me, I think is a big mistake that they are holding off on the on the actual title reveal. We also know that the, that the, uh, the negotiations in place right now uh, for the title reveal to be held off all the way until Star Wars Celebration is also in effect. And that's a ways to go. I mean, it's not like it's really long from now, but it is still a ways to go just to get a title reveal if they really do go through that with, with that decision. So, you know, with the whole entire box office situation and if this film does not become a success and how that builds on what they lost with Solo A Star Wars Story, that could also further lead to more cancellations of, of course, other standalone films and other Star Wars projects that are currently in the works. So you can really see how Disney is worried right now when it comes to the release of Episode 9 and everything that really does rests on top of it. So this movie, we do know that we're that they're bringing a, a, like a return of the characters of Luke Skywalker, Rey, Kylo Ren, uh, Lando Calrissian, Leia. It's also been said before in the past that this movie is really going to be a film that's going to be considered an all-out war and a war to end all wars. So they're really trying to go all out with this movie, including a lot of nostalgia, a lot of fan service, in order to really gain the trust of fans and make fans happy. But the biggest question of all is, is that going to be enough? You know, as of right now, could it be that Disney is basically in denial by using the fan service and nostalgia as a selling point for this movie? Now, to me, I think it's a good idea as long as there's a lot of meaning, purpose, and substance behind all of those different elements and aspects of this film that is really going to conclude this current trilogy. So, Disney, you know, as far as everything else goes, we do know that they have a new Star Wars trilogy in the works that's being led by the Game of Thrones guys, David Benioff and D.B. Weiss. They're hard at work. They're actually going to begin writing this summer of 2019. They're pretty much, you know, pitching ideas right now and really coming up with different story ideas for those next three movies that are going to be a part of the mythology. But like I say, the whole entire future of the Star Wars franchise does depend on Episode 9. If this film fails, 
a major shift will actually happen in the future of the franchise and what they actually originally had planned for, you know, the Star Wars projects on TV, on their streaming service, and of course, theatrical releases like movies and stuff like that. So what do you guys make about all of this? We do know that Disney and Lucasfilm, there's a lot of risks right now that they are taking. Uh, they know the stakes. They most certainly know the stakes with the backlash from The Last Jedi and the effect that it had on numerous Star Wars projects that were actually planned and a lot of people were hoping to see that were ultimately canceled and either, you know, transferred into something different and new. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.